Hey guys, this is John Weaver with uh, John Cass. This is our first video, and uh, after today, we'll be posting these weekly. Uh, today, I want to talk about the Super Bowl Jurassic uh, World trailer. Um, yesterday was the Super Bowl, and uh, usually that's a big trailer day, too, and we got a new release of a trailer that uh, I think you guys will like. So uh, let's get into it. So in this trailer, uh, we get introduced to the Mosasaurus uh, that we saw in the last trailer. Um, but I, I really think it looks a lot clean, a lot more cleaned up than it was the last time we saw them. A lot of people were complaining about uh, the CGI and it, what, how it didn't hold up to a movie that's almost you know 20 years old. And I, I really, uh, from what I saw in this new trailer, it looks like they really put some effort into making it look a little bit more realistic. And uh, I mean, I think it looks great. Um, moving into the Raptor footage right after that um, with Chris Pratt. It's, uh, I'm not really sure what he's doing. Is he training him? Uh, I mean, he doesn't seem scared. And uh, I saw a meme that showed uh, Muldoon uh, being like, what the fuck are you doing? Because, I mean, it's, uh, what is he doing? I mean, it's kind of ridiculous to see these are supposed to be the most dangerous animals in the world. And he's just there, hey, look at me. Let's, uh, let's fuck with the raptors because those things are pretty damn scary and uh they're one of the main bad guys throughout the jurassic park so um maybe we'll see them you know actually bite back to uh, chris pratt's character but from what we've seen it looks very much like they're uh his attack dogs almost they trained them also, we get we go to the D-Rex paddocks and uh, get to see the Marsani or whatever the guy, the new guy's name is. First glimpse of him, and they're uh, they get some. We get to see the D-Rex finally breaking out of his habitat, and well, they show him eating one of the workers, swooping him up with one big claw. Thought that was pretty cool, but uh, it. There's, there's so much stuff in this uh, beautiful uh, trailer. It's a small, smaller, uh, small trailer, but uh, packs a punch. Um, one of the scenes I really liked was the one eye through the uh, bushes. Really classic uh, Jurassic uh, Park stuff there. Um, also, oh uh, yeah, he says killing. He's killing for fun. Um, or uh, what was the exact quote here? Killing for sport is what they say the D-Rex is doing. So I guess this is the next evolution in uh, the dinosaurs because usually the dinosaurs are protecting their young or, you know, they're just hungry. They're uh, pack animals and they're, they see humans as, a, as prey. Um, but this, the D-Rex is killing for sport. And that makes me think it's attacking other animals i'm assuming that's the first thing that escapes and sets everything into motion a little bit after that you get to see the uh the giant pterodactyls flying uh through the park and destroying the city and pick up a woman like uh i mean it's some pretty gruesome stuff that's happening and uh, i i don't know if it has anything to do with a terrorist maybe uh or a or a Nedry-like character that maybe releases them on purpose or by accident. I'm not really sure, but we're definitely they're definitely giving off the vibe of the old series and not trying to. Uh, I mean, they are reinventing it, but they're they're really giving paying a lot of homage, 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 whatever to uh, um, to the originals. Also, we get to see some military-grade equipment. Uh, with Chris Pratt real there briefly you see all these guys with guns in the background which I'm really wondering what's up above the park um, in, in the last trailer there's a map up on the uh, command center and you see I think it says forbidden zone or no entry or something above and uh, a lot of there's a lot of speculation if that's where the original welcome center is going to be and that's where the old park used to be and also, if maybe they're using that to train military dinosaurs, who knows what the security forces are there for to protect or what they don't want getting out. But um, 
one thing I also liked uh, in this trailer was that they showed uh, when they said they were killing for sport they showed the, the animal laying down very reminiscent to the Triceratops scene with uh, Ellie Sadler um, just so much great stuff that uh, came out and I really think that uh, Jurassic World is going to be one of those movies that uh, definitely um, definitely piques people's interest back into that world Hopefully uh, it can only bring more good things and hopefully it doesn't suck because right now there's a lot of people who are on the fence about if this is going to be a true Jurassic Park sequel or is it going to be a shit fest, which let's just hope it's not a shit fest because I think it's not. And uh, let's, uh, I want to talk about some stuff I've been talking on Facebook with uh, the John Cast group and um, one, one of the people, who, uh, they, I really hope the kids die. And basically, they just don't want the focus to be on those kids. We all saw how annoying uh, the kids were in the first movie. Dr. Grant, Dr. Grant. But I mean, you know, that's kind of propels the story, uh, gives reason for them to go looking for. I agree. I hope the kids aren't a major component of the, of the whole thing hope maybe they're spending more half of the movie looking for them instead of having them with them but we'll, we'll see what happens and uh, I, I don't think they'll be too annoying uh hopefully not <laughs> but uh that's been my breakdown of the jurassic world super bowl trailer uh come on over to uh the facebook group john cast uh, we'll be discussing these trailers and more as they start approaching their uh dead the movie date <laughs> But uh, yeah, uh, this is John Cass and have a good night.